What's up, my beautiful bros? Brew meeting here, March 22nd, NBA game picks and spread predictions. And this series has faded in popularity, but we will bring it back because the playoffs are about to happen. Seeds are being finalized, not as we speak, but in the upcoming weeks. We have the Grizzlies at the Hornets. Neither team is going to make the playoffs, but I think the Hornets win this one. They're favored by 8.5. They should cover the 8.5 point spread as well. We have the 76ers at the Magic. 76ers fighting for a chance at the third seed. Outside shot of getting it, but they do have a chance. Philadelphia is favored by 8 in this one. This game is on NBA TV at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific time. I think the 76ers win and cover. And you have the Pistons at the Rockets. Rockets favored by 12.5 in this one. They should have no problem winning and covering. And then you have the Lakers at the Pelicans. Pelicans favored by 2 in this one, fighting for a playoff spot. I think 3.5, 4 games ahead of the Clippers, or 2 games ahead. Yeah, I think one game ahead. And I think about it. No Brandon Ingram still for the Lakers. I'm picking the Pelicans to win this one and hold on to their playoff seeding. And yeah, the Jazz Mavericks. Jazz are fighting to hang on to that eight seed. I think the Utah Jazz win and cover the eight and a half point spread. And then you have the Hawks at the Kings. This game is critically important for, uh, I should say, tank season. Sacramento's favored by one and a half in this one. This game's on NBA TV at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific time. Now, why I say it's important is if the Kings can throw this game, that puts the Hawks only half a game behind the Kings record-wise, and they'd be tied in losses. But, if the, if the Hawks lose and the Kings win, that puts them two and a half games ahead, giving the Hawks definitely a better chance in the draft. Other than that, that game holds absolutely no importance. So I hope you guys enjoy. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you are new. And um, for a fun, fun question, if you made it to this point, what team do you think is going to have the most dramatic injury in the playoffs? Now, I'm not saying any injury is going to happen, but for example, last year when Kawhi Leonard up 20 on Golden State got beast moded by Zaza Pachulia and eventually never played again that postseason. Stuff like that happens almost every year. Who do you think is the most likely candidate this year? Anyway guys, like I said, hope you enjoy your day. Peace.